Welcome uh, back to the Experience Center in Copenhagen. This is uh, the next episode of Data Lab Dialogues. My name is Thomas Madsen. I'm head of the Data Lab here in the Experience Center. With me today, of course, as usual, Carl Bergstrom, Enterprise Architect. Hello, Thomas. Nice to be back. Carl is from Skåne, and today we have uh, Ole Jen Cecek, <laughs> another minority actually. He is from Slesvi, uh, the Danish minority there in Slesvi. Welcome, Ole. Thank you very much. Uh, good to have you here. Ole is from Deloitte. But um, before we start, I know Ole, uh, I first met you when you were at KMD. I think it was before you grew the beard. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, and then all of a sudden you 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 once told me hey I want to walk the Camino, and uh, you did that. I, yeah. I wonder <laughs> is walking the Camino as hard as managing a big SAP project, or is it the same? Level? No, I think uh, the the beard came when I walked the Camino because uh, <laughs> I didn't shave, and then when I came and I came back after six weeks. The beard was there, yeah. and so. your wife said it looked good. Uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's like my mustache. I got the good feedback from my wife as well. Yeah, but um, walking the Camino is a, a total different experience than um, handling an SAP project, and um, it is. Uh, you have a lot of time to think about. And uh, one of the things in the Camino, when I have planned to walk the Camino, or my ex uh, expectation was, now I have time to be innovative and creative and so on. Um, but I choose not to have any electric devices with me except an a, a old uh, smart cell phone that I can text to my wife, I'm, 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 I'm okay. <laughs> I'm still okay. <laughs> I'm still okay, but um, I, I can I can not even a single work Spanish except that I can order a couple of beers. Mm -hmm. uh, so no people... I, I just didn't communicate with so many people because uh, on the way in the early uh, in the March in April there was no so many people I could talk mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. There was no email. There was no news. There was nothing. Oh, so after two lovely. days, um, it was quiet in between the ears. Okay. And yeah. so that was a total different experience okay. because when you have an SAP project, it's not quiet. <laughs> So okay. it's from the morning to the night, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. And especially in the area where I work with, with uh, in between all the bases, infrastructure, functional, so all the ALM part, there's always a lot of things that we have to take care of. And we'll talk about that today. Yes. Sure. <laughs> yeah. But before we start, yeah. let's hear a little bit about you. So, Ole, uh, where did you come from and what's your story? Yeah, um, I'm, uh, I think I'm uh, European. I was born Polish <laughs> in the northern part of Germany, into the Danish minority. When I was 16, <laughs> 16 I switched my nationality to, to German. And um, in Germany, I was the Domedene. Then I, after I take my um, student exam uh, and the Duburg School in Flensburg, I moved to Denmark for study. And then, then when I came to Denmark, I was poison. So uh, they think that's, that's, that tells a lot of my story. So uh, I'm a good mix and I have always um, explained myself. Yeah. And it, but it was funny to do so, to, to tell people it, with my last name as we, in the opening, uh, Thomas, uh, very quick you have, uh, can communicate with people because they put some questions in, you have the chance to answer. And I think that's, um, that's a very important part of, my, of myself. Okay. That's a beautiful story in these days with uh, how Europe is uh, yeah. happening. Yes, 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 so yes, yes, yes. That, yeah. That's, uh, yeah. that's the good thing in yeah. Europe. Yeah. That is. Yep. And I think um, coming and when you have a lot of nationalities, and that's also the same thing when we're looking at SP projects, a lot of nationalities today are working together. Mm. And we we need to we need to find out how to work together because that is an important part in in that. And if you are placed in the uh, eye of the storm, then you communicate a lot. Mm, mm, mm. So, so what are you doing at? Uh, let's, I mean, you are currently at Deloitte, right? And, I'm currently at your Deloitte. role there. At yeah, Deloitte? I think I'm currently at Deloitte, and um, I am the the technical architect in uh, Deloitte Denmark. I was hired, hired there to, uh, to, to help and to come in as taking care of the, all the technology area okay. in, 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 in Deloitte. From an SAP perspective. From an SAP yeah, perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, the, the thing is in Deloitte, it's, it's um, a good place to, to be because it's, 
it's not something we have something else in SAP. I have I've learned. So there's a lot of stuff we we are working with, and how we are organized in a way so that uh, you find SAP in a lot of areas. Mm -hmm. It's not only in the SAP offering. We have also the analytics offering where SAP is a part of as well. Yeah. It's a big yeah. part of the yeah. analytics, yeah. but it's not only SAP. Yeah. And um, we are have in the strategy department or offering, we also are talking SAP and other stuff. So it is, it is more um, agnostics, mm. so software agnostics, uh, but of course, in very, 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 when we're coming to the, the, a certain kind of customers, SAP will very often be the first choice. Yeah. And my background to, to talk about technology is that I started my with working with SAP in '95. Um, was a part so of you're one of the oldies. I'm one of the oldies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, back back in '95, that was the SAP systems. I was starting as a FI consultant for three months, but mm. then that could everything about FI. <laughs> and so then I, I found some more as in the the development and integration area. Ah, the real as, stuff. As the real, the real the hard real stuff. stuff. Yes. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. Um, and but back in back old days, it was easy because. It took about a couple of months. Then I have been a, a, across all the application errors that was in the system that, of that point of time. It was R3, not R2. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, in the good old ABAP coding. And then all the integrations and all the developments, it was, you can find out a lot of stuff. And with my German background, it was easy to, to read mm -hmm. the documentation in the code. Because <laughs> um, uh, when, you, when, you look, when you look at company code, why is company code the field B U K R. That's Buchungskreis. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 so in that way, you very, very yeah. quick. But and then all my way up, then I worked together with a lot of teams. Mm -hmm. I managed a lot of uh, development teams. Were a part of the Netweaver, the good old Netweaver mm -hmm. stack when that that came as a new stuff, mm -hmm. uh, focusing on business processes, workflows. Integration and then all, always taking care of the stuff that is in the middle yeah. between basis and infrastructure and the application area. And translate between uh, yes, yeah. layers, I guess. Yeah, that's, <coughs> that's also where I'm, I'm uh, coming from the uh, business school in Aarhus. So mm -hmm. my, my graduate was in organization and, and um, in strategy because the IT part I also worked with already back there, but the, the challenge is always the people. If you, you, if you have the business and you have the IT, the technology, how should that fit together? And already back then, in the 80s, in the 90s, it was a challenge. Mm. Because it don't help when you take a very, very good IT system mm. and put, try to implement an organization when the organization, the culture in the organization is not ready. No. Then you will fail. Then you just, mm. you just put an, another thing that gives you problems. So in, in, that, in that way of how to work with people and with IT, that and, and, and that that leads me to ask. I mean, mm. is is that that challenge? Is that part of why SAP caught on? That that the SAP system somehow makes it easier for business and IT to collaborate, or is that a misinterpretation? Um, I, th I think the the how SAP has been structured back then and today, and has developed today, it is. It is combining the stuff, the business and the IT. Um, but sometimes SAP is very good in focusing in different areas. Mm -hmm. They have fantastic tools. Back back then, and the starting of uh, the uh, uh, the zero, uh, the start two thousand, you have the business workflow. Mm -hmm. It was a fantastic tool. One of mm -hmm. the is one of the strongest workflow products. <coughs> SAP is one of the founding members of the Workflow Co Management Coalition, mm -hmm. but it was not promoted enough. No. It was just a tool. It, it, it's interesting that you're saying yeah. that, because sometimes when we're out and promoting our product for new customers, workflow is almost not even mentioned. And it's, as it's, you were it's, saying, it's a very strong uh, engine. Yeah, it, and it's mm -hmm. inbuilt and, and, and it's used uh, when you now, after you have changes to the SAM workflow, mm -hmm. it's also a very strong engine inside. Yeah. Another product is record and case management. It was a it was fantastic uh, tool. Mm -hmm. it, I, I had a lot of, I had a team built around it, uh, making solutions based on workflow and the record case management, but it was not promoted. It is a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a very strong tool inside. And that's again, a lot of this, 
compon components, applications that are in SAP, that one of the areas that I work with very often is to combining the mm -hmm. fantastic tools, putting them together, and explaining them to the customer. Okay. And that's, again, the communication between it, taking, taking the, the best in the world, put it together, and ma make solutions. Make innovations. Yeah, make innovations, yeah. Yeah. and that's way. And that's also why I ended up um, uh, in, in, in working with the area that, that I work now with, uh, in between all, all the stuff as a technical architect or solution mm. architect, as you call it. Um, can have a lot of different uh, names on, on this position, but in between to get things to work in projects. Yeah. Sta standing, uh, stopping a little bit on that, now with your uh, history, is it becoming more of this, you think, or, or is it getting less? Are we getting more standardized in SAP, so it's more fixed, or uh, is it still a, a, a need to do this combination of the building blocks, you think? Uh, I think it's, it's like, um, like history, it's, mm. it's in waves, it's cycles. Yeah. And mm. um, new, new stuff is coming out. Mm. Um, again, the technology is very good, it's a strong product. Um, but then um, how to go, and then something is going to market, mm. but, but when you really want to use it, you need some people that, that can understand it in the yeah. details, yeah. combine the stuff, and, and mm -hmm. find out what is needed mm. for this customer, this project, and mm. so on. And, and, and I think that's, 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 uh, um, that's how, where we consultants and companies like Deloitte come in, yeah. it, it's explaining, because we have long relations with the customers. Mm -hmm. But the thing, exactly. the, the, the concept of being a trusted advisor, yeah. and a, a trusted advisor is, 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 not, is not only using SAP, it's mm -hmm. looking at the customer, finding out what is needed, what is the, what is the problem, what's the challenge, and which tool, which software can solve it. And that requires then that the knowledge of the different products, like SAP, mm -hmm. Is important so that that not only the, the people in the SAP offering at us, but also in the other offerings in risk advisory in in analytics knows about which which new um, features that are out there, how they function, and how they can how we can help impacting the customer in the right direction. Yeah. So that's around making the right recommendation when when a new project starts or when you want to augment the project, but then. Yeah. Once you have done it, you also need to sort of manage it ongoing. I mean, it, it goes into operation, right? And then you need to maintain it. Mm. Are you also involved in that? And, and what's the Deloitte take on yeah. that? Yeah, <coughs> um, I'm, I'm, I think uh, we and from Deloitte take, take care from, I think, uh, as, we, as we called it, when one of the products here you, you, we, we have, uh, it's taken from the requirement to deploy. Mm -hmm. And further from the deployment to the operation as well, yeah. and <clears throat> that's also I think um, important uh, when you are the, when the customer that that where is the responsibility for all that? That if if you can't take all the responsibility, at least you ha should have the experience to tell the customer that here you need to think, here you need to do something, mm. here we need to take care of that, here we need to plan stuff. Mm. And to orchestrate all that from, from, the, from the idea, from the um, requirements coming in, mm. uh, to shaping the solution, um, to um, build the solution, to make the implementation, to test it, um, do the right advisory also in testing. What do you need to test? How do we put to test? Mm. Um, and then to the cut over, deploy, and then to operate. That's a long, lo it's a long way. Yeah. It's yeah. a long phases. Yeah. Yeah. Very often they also take a couple of months or mm. ten or twelve. Mm. <laughs> and 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 how to orchestrate and how and and and, and on that. And that's a lot of stuff. And there we from the Lloyd help and we have the methodology. And we, of course, also to, to combine it with the SAP, act, SAP Activate mm. to the methodology to support the total process. Yeah. So turnkey. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, before I joined SAP, I was at a company that, that delivered solutions for telecommunication. And we delivered turnkey solutions. So, I mean, I was part of selling, but also part of delivering. And I kind of missed that at SAP. 
Yeah. Because Carl and myself, we are sort of advisors, mm -hmm. but typically pre-sale, right? Mm -hmm. So, so we are we are we are, you know, advocating SAP mm -hmm. software, but we are very rarely part of of any any operation or deployment. But isn't isn't that a challenge for you? Because mm -hmm. I think advisory is is okay in pre-sales, but um, I was I was missing from a former job also to to now I'm happy when I joined Deloitte three years ago is coming out again. Mm -hmm. And you know, like the Make horse, a difference. La, 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 like a horse smelling that. Okay, okay, the, it's grass. Let, let's let's yeah. come out and running again. <laughs> it, fe, fe, feeling feeling the soil, soil, and, and coming coming out and do that. Uh, and I think, and that is that is something that I when I when I joined Deloitte and the company, I think was very uh, positive for me that everybody is out the customer. Everybody is out in a in, in a project. It's required. If you are a consultant, if you are manager, if you're partner, you are part out. There and mm -hmm. that helps me to. You can see I'm a little bit gray haired and gray bearded. Um, but you're young at heart. Ah, uh, young at heart, yes. yes. And so, yeah. so, so, so to, to keep young, to keep get, mm -hmm. getting the information. And yeah. coming back to the Camino, if there's no nothing that 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 um, is stimulating you, the silence starts between the ears. But if you come out in the project and the customer, you can see the challenges, okay. you can mm. see, okay, here's something coming up, and then, okay, let's take care of that before it gets a problem. I mean, nothing is more beautiful than a go-live weekend, <laughs> <laughs> when everybody has, has like tuned in or so good at the things, yeah. so you can solve a, a big problem in hours, because yeah. you are, yeah, yeah, yeah. you are, th that is, that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, for no, sure no. I, something I'm yeah. missing, and, and when, when, when the orchestra is really playing well <laughs> together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and the team is around. Team is yeah. around, yeah. Every, everybody is ready to do the best, and yeah. Uh, yeah. It's but, but you are right, I mean, I guess we are missing that, but that's why we have this podcast. <laughs> the Data Lab Dialogues is yeah. really uh, for me and Carl to actually learn how is it to use SAP software. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But let's, um, let's, let's, uh, let's dig into mm? application lifecycle management a little mm. bit. Um, but, but let's step, uh, uh, take a step back. What is application lifecycle management really? I mean, is it about just operations, or as I see it, it's also a little bit about how to introduce new functionality, new features. What's your take on, on, on ALM? Yeah, if, if you look, if you, um, I think I'm at, I'm at it when the first time heard ALM and think, okay, that's, oh, that's the basic guys taking care of that. When all the fun has, is, is the, 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 the music is stopped and so on, the thing is rolling on, um, the party's over, then it's operation taking part of that. Mm. But, um, but no. Application lifecycle management starts already before the project starts. Uh, that is when the enterprise architects mm -hmm. come in and the business has some challenges and we've, we're starting, okay, how, how should we solve this? This is a problem, is it a software, is it an application, should we develop something? How looks our business process? That is for me where the ALM starts because um, when we, we have the continuous business improvement, mm. that's, that's the real, when we have the solution. Mm. But f for me, it's also before we have the solution. Mm. Mm. Before the solution exists in the way that it can support us. Mm. So that's when we make the flow, the business process flow, that's where for me it starts. Mm. And then it's all the way. It's, um, it's um, to orchestrate, to document, to make sure that that we have um, the business processes, mm -hmm. and then we're talking about an NSAP when things go to the landscape, mm -hmm. from the development via mm -hmm. test pre prepar to production, we have to move things out. We have to control the implementation process mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. and also, and and then it's important that that we have the hooks for monitoring. Because when we don't think about monitoring when we make the implementation, mm. when we design the solution, then it's very, very difficult for operation afterwards to monitor, monitor and find out where's the problem. You can just see, okay, this bedroom is not running, or the integration is down. Mm. But the root cause analysis, I've done that a lot of time back in the 90s mm. uh, to find out why it just doesn't it work. But now we have a lot of tools that can support us. But the tools rely on that we have done our work in the design. Yeah, okay. yeah. So for me, it's a full circle of the eight 
as we have it in uh, in, in, uh, in a beautiful uh, slide from from SAP where we have the all everything in, in the yeah, yeah, yeah. and in, in in that context if we talk now being here being at SAP <laughs> where which product I mean we are talking about solution manager uh, and focus build that yeah. was yeah. What, what was it Six seven years yeah, ago, or six, something like ago, yeah, yeah. that. That that was introduced. Yeah. I think we are now in the S SP09 mm -hmm. uh, of, of Focus Build. Uh, the ten should come very soon, but I think that's yeah, it's about five five years, five six years, yeah. And 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 uh, Focus Build from your take, what what does it uh, what does it do, and and, and what, what what is what is its good good stuff around it? Yeah, I I, I think. Um, I I learned to to let's say learn to love focus build because <laughs> uh, <Was it hard>? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know some some uh, some some uh, relationships uh, needs time to grow and get get bigger and stronger <laughs> yes. uh, and I, I got some patience on the Camino I learned about about that as well um, but but when you look first time I met focus build was on a project and. Um, I was I was called as a technical advisor or to make a review, and mm. then I found out after a couple of weeks, um, every everybody of the whole project, 250 people, blame solution manager that that's the reason why things are not working. I think okay, that's that is not my take on for, on, on solution manager. Mm. Oh, and this focus build is, this don't 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 work. You know, focus build sounds nice. Let's let me take a look, and then I found out that this uh, focus build is a project tool. It should help the project to, to handle the project, to have the governance in the project, to transparency through the project, reporting so that you are in control. Mm. Mm. And, and sometimes projects, um, we, we control, um, I would say we, not Deloitte, but I think <laughs> control of a project is very often spreadsheets, trackers, mm. SharePoint teams and so on. So you have a, you're using tools that are outside the system where you do the implementation. Mm. Yeah. So solution manager and focus build are inside. Solution manager is the central system in the landscape. It's connected to all other systems. It's connected to the S4 system. It's connected to the business technology platform. Can control all the transports and so on. But when you use when you want to use it correctly, it needs to be configured correctly. And had, had you need to let the control be there. Mm. Uh, I think ma many people know Charm, change release management. Change release management is um, is the uh, focus build is the same, but it is it is pre-configured for projects where Charm is for the maintenance, uh -huh. so that you have the okay. release management, mm -hmm. your release cycle, your major mm -hmm. releases, minor releases, and can control um, urgent changes and so on. Focus Build controls the project. So when you have a green field, then Focus Build is perfectly to fit the green field mm. because it then controls everything in this green field project. Mm. When then we go to the main, when we can then go alive, go to the maintenance, um, then you very often have a dual landscape where we have a project landscape where Focus Build will continue for the next rollout deployment. Mm. And then it's possible to, to, to configure Charm to, con uh, to handle the maintenance track. So the two of the things work together. The good thing also in Focus Build, since it's pre-configured, you have a lot of dashboards. Mm. Um, the only downside I can see is you have to follow the rules. Um, mm. Governance mm. and if you and it shows it also for the, to the customer very quickly. Mm. If you don't do your work, if you don't put the documentation, if you don't um, follow what is agreed for the sprints and, and the waves, it shows up in the dashboard. Oh, mm. how sad. Yeah, <laughs> that's so. And, 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 and uh, coming from some personal experience in this, it is sometimes the challenge within the project team to, 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 to use, they, they should use the tool. Uh, have you experienced something similar? That it's a, uh, <laughs> because, like you say, it's yeah. a defined process. Yeah. Um, no. Yes. 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 In, in all projects. Yeah. So, so, so the the key to success for Focus Build is to train the project teams, mm. to train uh, the consultants, to train the customer that is involved there, to make them understand 
what are the principles? Because um, people that knows an SAP project that need to say knows, okay, the thing as soon as we start build or even before we start build, the consultant or developer say, oh, I need to develop, develop this. If I want to save it, I need a transport. So mm. people say, give me a transport. Mm. And when we use focus build, then all the transports for a project, for a release, are controlled. So you need a work item that describes your work, that has your technical specification and all that stuff. Mm. And if that is in place, the work, if the, via the work item, via Focus Build in Solution Manager, from there you create the transport. It's not on the back end anymore. Ah. Mm. So, so, and when people uh, are sitting there Friday afternoon like we do now, and they have promised the deadline is uh, end of day, they need a transport, then they think, oh, Ole, okay. you are, you, 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 that's, it's, it's so cool that you then now tell me I have to do a lot of other things. So it's important to tell people on Monday <laughs> yeah. is it, that, mm. that there are some new rules in, the, in, in, in this game. So you need to follow the rules. Mm. And that is the training yeah. that is there. So when we, when we now working with Focus Build, um, SAP Open SAP courses are mm. fantastic, but it's, it, it's not related directly to the practical work. So we have um, chopped, um, um, created training, 10, 10 different training modules, so that you have training modules for the PMO, for the developers, for the release manager, for how to test. So, so that, we, that, that, we, that the success is that when we train the people just um, on time when they need the functionality, have an overview training of everything, but then train them during the project and we have focus build coaches as a part of the projects. All right. So, and then you can always help them and then we are in control. So we have right now started a build, a build phase for, for one of our customers. And, and I can follow with the, and also the customer can follow up. Okay, the work package, the work item are created, the transport are now created, and in this processes, it looks like this. Maybe here in, 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 in this um, stream, we need to need a little help because you can follow already here that things are there. And I can see, okay, we are missing here a little bit funk specs mm. because that's a red, red flag flashing mm. that things are ready, is connected to the business process, mm. so it's in solution documentation, mm. is connected, so you have the total overview of you that. You create transparency so that uh, yes. the yeah. doers and the yeah. manager, yeah. everybody yeah. are, are and, in line. And, and, if, you, and if, you, if you go further down, um, then in the release manager dashboard, you have the dashboard and see, okay, there's, oh, we have here some transports, they are not connected or there are something there yeah. that's missing, so um, that do are in control, so that's not in the Caught overnight mm. uh, when we make the deployment that uh, the that we we get the problems we can already see it now. Yeah. Are there some streams or some developers that need some more additional help? Yeah, I guess reducing risk also for yes. those important yeah. moments yeah. in time. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, and connect it to your business process. Yeah. That's another important thing. Um, uh, back, uh, I think ten years ago uh, when I worked on our place. We struggle a lot with not with the business, the process, the documentation. The documentation was there uh, in SharePoint, mm. but you need the documentation in Solution Manager because some of the other tools you have in Solution Manager, like um, uh, Business Process Change Analyzer and all the nice stuff we 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 we, we dreamed about to use, um, and SAP and the beautiful. Presets functions showed the slides. You can do that, and you can see when that comes. When we have a, a OSS <laughs> node, or you have an upgrade, then you need to test all this. Great, I want this. Yes, um, you just need to have the documentation solution manager, and the process level. Then you can use this, and then you know if we have a, a, a solution that is 10, 15 years old, documented in SharePoint or in, uh, it takes. It takes a Forever. year. Forever. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. Yeah. So, so and, and I think that is another thing with um, the folks build support of projects. We start with the solution documentation. So we right now in all projects that, um, that I can see in Deloitte, the solution manager, solution documentation is the starting point. That's a part of our Deloitte method, methodology, Solution the documentation is uh, is in solution manager. That's a very strong. I mean, it's that is. Uh, yeah. I think uh, really super, super powerful. Uh, super powerful yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 
because then it's also easy for to 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 monitor to use the monitoring mm -hmm. um, because when you as you know the business processes the business process steps are connected to the executables to the Fiori apps and then you can identify uh, which processes are impacted where, how it's working and so on and, mm -hmm. so. and, and in uh, so so we have solution manager some kind of backbone connecting it up focus build on top you have established processes within Deloitte. Mm -hmm. Do you I hear, uh, do you also ingest content into uh, Solution Manager or Focus from a Deloitte yeah. perspective? Yeah. We bring best practices yes. from SAP, but um, well, there is uh, there are diff there are different possibilities. You have the best practices on SAP mm. that um, that could be a good starting point. You have the model company from SAP mm. that is also. And everything is going into Solution Manager documentation mm. with the business process flow. And we from, from Deloitte, we have um, Industry Print 5. That is our uh, content mm. uh, for different uh, industry segments and so on. Yeah. And that is not what we are working with to upload. When we start a SAP project, we upload the IP5 that are relevant for, for these for this processes. Yeah. And that's also something that we had discussed with um, some of your colleagues in, in Waldorf yeah. um, for the for the new uh, for the new cloud LM that yeah. we will talk about in a moment. <laughs> that is that we put, can put in the content together, mm -hmm. so that we can provide content from the beginning because that is kick, the kickstart. Uh, the worst case is always um, to to have a workshop mm -hmm. and you start. Asking the customer, what do we want? We have a whiteboard that is clean. Yeah. Let's draw the process. <laughs> yeah. Because then you will never f hit the standard. You will always have some things. And it's very difficult then to, to take a discussion to move away from what people have put your energy in to draw a picture. Yeah. To change it is very difficult. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. So yeah. It's, yeah, it's a good it's, point. It's, 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 <laughs> and it's also one come from one's background. It's, 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 the, it's by accident, exactly the same process as I had in the past, maybe. Yeah. But yeah. If, okay, let's say the three of us. When we each of us should should um, should line out the sales order process mm -hmm. or the order to cash process, we go each in a room, draw the uh, order to cash process. Even if we, the three of us agrees and the three of us knows as a P, we will draw three different processes. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, probably. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because we have different, different abstractions. Mm -hmm. It's easier when I take out a piece of paper, show the process on the desk, and then we can disagree on one or two boxes because they need to move in another way. Mm. Um, when we do that, then, and then it's easier. And then we go out of the room and we have all a good experience. It's a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. I think that is also what SAP I think is yeah. trying with the cloud yeah. ALM, yeah. with the pre-filled uh, uh, processes. Yeah. Then select the processes you need, and then we can take it from there. Yeah. And now you're touching upon the the third product, the new kid on the block, <laughs> yeah. uh, cloud ALM. Yes. It was launched two years ago. I think uh, GA was 12, 20 months ago, so yeah, close yeah, to yeah, 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 <laughs> one close and a half, two years. <laughs> and and, and uh, have you had a chance to dig into what what it's offering? Yes, yes, we have. We have. Um, um, my team um, is supporting one of our uh, colleagues in in in, in Germany, um, where, where they are using cloud LM. So we will uh, of the have a public cloud. Uh, implementation where Cloud LM is a central part, the CSC there is a central part to configure everything there. And um, um, we help them right now in that. And so we have a good chance to look into this in life and not only on, only on the demo demo environment. And I think that's that's very interesting to, to follow this project there. And mm -hmm. I can see the concept um, that is working, this content-driven concept, mm -hmm. instead of um, right now we have it um, uh, like the bio, bring your own process is a normal SAP approach. Uh, we everything we can do everything. Uh, the content driven approach is okay. No, no, we, we, we have it, and you have to select what from 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 the menu. Yeah. Yeah. and that is another approach, and I think um, that speeds up the implementation process. Mm -hmm. um, and um, another positive thing is compared to Solution Manager and Focus Build is. Um, the cloud LM is using the agile terminology. Mm -hmm. 
when we look into Focus Build and Solution Manager, it is very technical driven. It should support the implementation process, the build process from the technical side to make sure that the transport moves, mm -hmm. that the sequence of the transport dependencies is so. When we're looking into Cloud LM, it's much, much more agile. You're using terminology that features task, subtask. It has a very strong data model, so you can relate everything to everything. Um, um, so, it, I can see that it will have a good feature, yeah. a future. Mm -hmm. And the challenge right now is it's, it just supports the content that is in the system. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, let's say about testing, mm -hmm. it it's all has also a limitation. It has inbuilt test uh, fe uh, features. Um, it looks very good, mm. but it's not right there. It's the reusable test plans are mm. missing. Um, fully integration to the uh, that you can bring your own to own content is missing. But it, it's the right direction, and mm. for for a lot of projects, I think we will we will work with it. Of course, mm. uh, it makes sense. Mm. But, but in a combination with solution manager, perhaps. For no, a while, no, 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 no. It's no. It, it's either either or. Either. Uh, but mm. if if you have. You can you can uh, you can use cloud LM for a, let's say a subsidiary or something uh, when when you have that. Yeah. But for for a, a, let's say a full full scale bring your own pro, uh, process project, um, uh, I think then it's less difficult. Mm. <coughs> it's not it's not it's not, it's, it's, it's not, ma ma not yet major. The thing that we can use in cloud LM cloud LM is divided in two parts or three parts. Um, the implementation. Mm -hmm. Um, which is limited to the content, mm -hmm. and then you have the operation. So operation um, uh, is that it looks at health check, it looks into the system, it monitors it, it follows the processes mm -hmm. and so on. So and, and that is not uh, is not um, so content related as the implementation part. So that it, it could make sense mm -hmm. to to use it uh, and and get in, in that. <coughs> and then you have of course the last part is the service that uh, the support service part of Cloud mm -hmm. LM that we also had in Solution Manager, that is where SAP can go in mm -hmm. and, and help and monitor the system and so on. You have the same feature in, in Cloud LM. Yeah. And just for the record there, customers who have a cloud contract are entitled to use it. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, mm -hmm. it's there for, for, for those who have not even considered it mm -hmm. or didn't know about it, one can use it, request mm -hmm. it from SAP mm -hmm. and then and and and, and, and uh, just and that's yeah. well, same as solution manager, but yeah. then you need to have some infrastructure. Yeah, and infrastructure you have infrastructure, mm -hmm. and also I think also focus build is the same. Is focus build focus inside yeah. is also a part of the license when you have the solution manager system. Mm -hmm. um, of course, it needs to be configured, but but the, the software is a part of that contract. Mm -hmm. With Cloud LM, I think uh, where it's also make a, uh, I can see a, a good starting point is right now the latest release um, Success Factor content has been a part of the Cloud LM now mm -hmm. also. So when you have a se Success Factor implementation, you can use Cloud LM to 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 support the implementation and also the the operations. So yeah. that's also I think something that it comes and I'm really amazed the speed that SAP has delivered the last twelve months. When I have uh, a discussion with your colleagues in Waldorf uh, uh, a year ago and talking about, oh, what about Cloud LM? When uh, sh should I start looking at it now, or could continue for a project with Focus Build? And yes, yes. Oh, until you go into retirement, Ole, uh, and we expect it's at least ten years uh, before you go uh, go there. Um, it's Focus Build, but it's now coming, it's, it, it's uh, yeah. I, either I have to go to retirement very quick. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, 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 or I have to learn a little bit more about cloud LM. So, so a, a customer considering implementing s for hana public cloud, so a simple, fairly simple system with a little bit of B2P perhaps and, and I don't know. Success I'd, factor yeah, maybe? That would be cloud LM, no doubt about it. Or um, it's very... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think, uh, no, no doubt now, but I think because it is, when you have the public cloud, mm. you have a certain um, content. Mm. Mm. Yeah. This content is handled by the CEC, uh, the configuring system, mm. central configuring system from, mm. from uh, Cloud LM. So that will support a lot of the selection of the processes and so on. So I think you can't um, uh, avoid using Cloud LM 
in that kind of implementation. Mm -hmm. That is that is the way you can speed up. That is the way you can control it. You have also in Cloud AM, like in Focus Build, you have a lot of dashboards, analytics uh, uh, possibilities. You can follow the stuff, you can track it. It has a um, fully inbuilt um, uh, project management uh, part. So, um, so you you and it is task driven. It tells you already when you log onto the system, when you scope your project, um, it tells you uh, uh, what do you need to prepare your project. Mm. So a lot of these tasks are there. Yeah. You have to create a project, you have to create the sprints, you have to do mm. this, your milestones and so on. So it, it helps you, it's, it's, it guides you through uh, all that and controls that is done. And it also deadlines on it. It tells you you need to do that before you can do that. Mm -hmm. so, so this kind of guidance help. I think it's it's it it's uh, will be. You should of course use it, because mm. otherwise, you have to invent it yourself. Mm. And I think that is one of the things that where things are combined. Mm. Also, same. I like that in Focus Build, because um, when a, when a, 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 a previous work with Solution Manager, it was a lot of different applications mm. in Solution Manager. Yeah, you okay. have the project mm -hmm. management. You have the process management. You have the release management, uh, change request management, and so on. With Focus Build, you have one UI mm -hmm. that covers things. You have the project management uh, in Focus Build that relies on the project management and solution manager. You have the process management. You have the transport management change. So it uses all the um, backend uh, applications and combines it in a Fiori UI. Mm -hmm. So that makes it easy. Mm -hmm. That makes it also easy for the developer to create his own transport in Focus Build and control it. So, so, and that's, um, I think, th I like that, that it's in one product, so otherwise it is, it is very um, ten, uh, ten, uh, ten, tension uh, that, that, uh, that, you, that you want to use, okay, I want to use this, this tool to handle projects, I want to use this tool to handle transport, mm. I want to use this third party tool to help me for the documentation. Yeah. So then you have a lot of tools that you should orchestrate in the PMO and the project. Yeah. Here you have one tool. It's not, it's not one size. Uh, it's, it's not the the, not hundred percent. You 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 can cover with that. Mm -hmm. But if you can handle eighty ninety percent with one tool, mm -hmm. that's great. And I can yeah. see that in Cloud LM, mm -hmm. because Cloud LM is is built from scratch. It is not an upgraded solution manager system. Yeah. It's not, a, it's not a solution manager system it, in the cloud. It's, it's a new code line. Yeah, it's, 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 cloud, it's built for cloud. Yes, and, it, and it's built from scratch. Mm. But it's built from scratch with the experience mm. from the more than 20 mm. years yeah. from the solution manager. Yeah. So, and uh, it is built with, to support a business processes mm. from this beginning. Yeah. Mm. This is tough. I mean, uh, managing projects, it, it sounds to me, it sounds like, you know, uh, really tedious work somehow. Uh, organizing, uh, you know, managing requirements, documenting, to me, oh my goodness, uh, uh, that's, that's tough. Uh, I know, Uli, you've been working with that all your life, so I guess you love it, but you also, you also, I mean, one of the first times I met you, you were arranging a hackathon, I remember, at KMD, mm. and... Um, it was a fun experience. That's more sort of innovation uh, and, and working with uh, different teams. Do you see a difference there, or is it just two sides of yourself? Or? Oh, 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 oh <laughs> may, 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 maybe I found out that working with, with SAP LM, it's a, it's a, it's a continuous hackathon. <laughs> <all the time. laughs> bring all the, all the pieces yeah. together, bring all the teams together, get the teams formed, get some work, and so on. No, but... but it's, yeah, do you have a point there, actually? Yeah, it, yeah. It, it is, it is um, I think, I, li I like to be in the middle of the, of the perfect storm, um, <laughs> and then find out how to handle it. But, mm. yes, I think it's... Um, um, it's, it's bringing people together and get the project work together to understand why it's important, mm. to explain things, um, to identify challenges. Uh, and that's the same when we're taking a hackathon or InnoJam or Innovation Challenge, uh, uh, that we have, have a lot of things we have done. Mm. Um, that's, um, that is identify the problem, I agree on this is the problem, Bringing, bringing together the best people to find the solution, to find the, 
you will never find the perfect solution. You will find mm -hmm. the, the best way of solving the customer's problem that he can agree on S. That, that, that helps me. Mm -hmm. And then uh, get things done. When you're looking at, at with huge pro project, projects with two, three hundred uh, uh, people in, the, in, the, in that, ev there will always be some challenges. Mm. So as, it, it, I think a little bit is right, Tom, I said that's, it's, it's the same skills you need to orchestrate this kind of stuff, mm -hmm. bringing people together. And also um, uh, people, by bringing them into teams, when we have a hackathon, mm. people very often don't know each other. Mm. We bring people together, find out which skills they have, what they can contribute with, mm. Um, uh, bringing them, making them aware that they can contribute, that they have something they can bring to the table, mm. because then they will be committed. Mm. And that's the same in projects. Yeah. You have the same things and same mechanism. And I've also been um, uh, a scout leader, and that's mm. the same. If you have uh, children 8, eight, 10, 12 years old, um, making them that they can believe that they can handle it together. If you have a big lock, mm. 5 meter lock, Nobody can, <laughs> nobody can lift it alone. Mm. But if you have 10 um, scouts, they take the scarves, they put it under, and then they can feel that yeah. they can move it. Yeah, yeah. And that's, I think that's, <laughs> that is yeah. to, to giving people the trust in yourself and that everybody is important. And that is the same in a hackathon. Mm. Uh, some, some people are not really good in coding, but they are good in making explanations, identifying problems, finding solutions, combining stuff. Other people are very good in just coding and just tell me what I need to do. Mm -hmm. Bringing that together, I think that is, that is the thing. And mean. also what I'm thinking about when you're talking about, this is structure, helping out and mentoring yeah. others. Who, who helps out moving this log with, with yeah, yeah. long history, knows about the problems down the road, so let's organize ourselves now. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 uh, yeah. But, but the thing is, in a project, if you have a big, the big project, the difference between the scouts with the log and a project is we need to know that in two months there will be a log or a road <laughs> logger of a kind. We need to have to start to, to dig the hole or, or, or remove it and find a way to come around it because otherwise we have a big roadblock for the project. So, and that could be um, the pre-production system is not ready. But we, 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 need, to, we need to have we know that in two months, when we have the regression test starting, the UOT is starting, we need the pre-production system. It has to be ready at least then because so we can move, we have to prepare the cut over and all that stuff. So you need that there will be something. And that is then also who is responsible. Because the infrastructure provider provides that the system is there. But the system should be connected, should be set up. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of other stuff. It's his responsibility, it's his SI, it's the customer. Mm -hmm. What is in the agreement? When we're now talking, I think uh, another p very imp uh, um, important topic is the rice contract. What is a part of the rice contract? What mm. is not a part? Mm. Who is responsible <laughs> is, uh, for this? Um, which service agreement are there? And all this can impact that the people carrying the lock uh, have to stop suddenly. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and that is, what, that is the thing that mm. also is a very often a part how it ends up in the ALM part. Because you have to make sure that things are that people are talking together. Transparency again. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is so important. Yeah. Uh, coming back to that. Yeah. Yeah. So a project is a long series of sprints and hackathons controlled by ALM <laughs> or cloud ALM. It is. It yeah. is. And uh, you never know where where things pops up. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And that, I think that is again coming back to experience and why I think it's a, uh, it's a good, I enjoy working with in Deloitte because there is a lot of experience mm -hmm. in that and I, and I learned even, I have been in the market for more 25 plus years and working with SAP, there are people that are more experienced in some areas than I am mm -hmm. and, and so I can learn. Mm -hmm. So I can, I can find uh, a mentor that can, that can challenge me and gives me gives me new new task and says, hey Ole, um, listen, listen, this have you done that before? No. Okay, we have a project here. We have someone that knows about that that can help you. So maybe we should look into that. Or mm. 
Now with Cloud LM, how should we start with that? That's a new mm. challenge. Mm. Yeah. So there's always a new challenge yeah. in that. And my principle is always, when, as soon as I've learned how it works, then I will train people in my team. Yeah. I will take some graduates in, together with them find out. Now Cloud ALM, it's, uh, it's a new technology, it's a new stuff. Mm. So um, uh, uh, a one year or two year consultant knows as much as I do. Mm. So when we together try to find out, we, we see different things and that's how I can learn. I can uh, come with my, some of my skills mm. and the graduate or the consultant can learn and be better in that as well. So in that way we can combine the best of the young world and the gray-haired gray -haired, uh, people. Mm. And then we have the mentor or the master, mm. the master principles in, 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 in mm. this. Yeah, I know, I know you, are, you are motivated and interested in working with uh, mm. young people, young graduates. Uh, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Do you have a program as such, or is it just you that are interested in no, that? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, I've, I've, I've worked with in, in different companies with graduate programs, yeah. and. Um, uh, in, in Deloitte, we have a graduate program also. Um, it is now, uh, within the last couple of years, we, we have a, a Nordic graduate program. So the Deloitte companies in the Nordic work together, mm. um, where we have um, combined training, um, uh, so so that we have uh, graduates and there's a P offerings in all the Nord in, in the Nordic countries. Um, so we have I think 20 plus or, or, or more, 25 plus for for this year. Um, and we 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 um, we we have the experienced guys like me. We have a couple of of, of graduates in, in my team that we then train tra train as well. And, and they is, is have follow a, a boot camps, learning about SAP, uh, following in projects, taking responsibility, and, and then cross Nordic. Um, mm. There was I think two weeks ago there was an Oslo. This last year's graduate program, where all the graduates from from the Nordic met and have a couple of days and mm. workshops ah. together to build the network, because we are working cross Nordic. Yeah. Because our projects, our customers, are not only in Denmark mm. or not no. only in Sweden. We we are in Norway, or Finland, and Iceland. I think we have all. <laughs> uh, so so, but but we are working cross Nordic. So mm -hmm. they, we need to establish a network because people who know each other work better with together. With. It's easier to reach out. Yeah. And that's not only between the graduates, it's also by between the graduates and the managers and so on, so that we, we, we build up network because we network is so important. Mm -hmm. So that's why I also work cross, cross Europe with my SAP, uh, SAP LM team. Mm -hmm. So we work together with, the, as I mentioned, uh, the German project where we, where we work with Cloud LM. We're working with the Belgi Belgian col colleagues with something. Mm -hmm. uh, had a lot of German other projects with uh, Focus Build where we're helping, uh, helping out, uh, or not helping out, being a part. Not helping out, we're being a part. Sometimes we do the training, sometimes we take the uh, Focus Build um, in the projects. So we're working across Europe and that's, that's uh, I think that is that what, what gives us energy because we're working together in a, but we're still Deloitte Denmark, Lord Sweden, the North Norway. Mm. We have sell our, self, uh, our local um, routes, mm. and that's also important when we have we're working with customers. Mm. I mean, Deloitte is a great brand, of course. So I'm I'm guessing you don't have a hard time finding graduates, mm. or do you? I mean, we are always uh, <laughs> hearing that it's hard to get young people. Um, uh, how I, does I, it work I, for you? I think um, uh, it's it's always a challenge. Yeah. Um, because sometimes people, um, I think, especially when I'm looking into my technology area, I think maybe Deloitte Denmark is not known for a very technology uh, sophisticated uh, place mm. to be, but we are. Mm. But it's mm. um, when we're looking into, for example, as a P, we are we have we have a team, but also we have Deloitte is has a lot of other stuff. We have Deloitte Digital. Mm. We have where well, we have uh, creating a lot of other stuff, on not an SAP based, but uh, other other technologies, and so there's a lot of stuff in Deloitte and a lot of possibilities. Yeah. But bringing that to the market, uh, it's it sometimes can be a little bit challenge. No, I mean you have mm. the same challenge as SAP has. I'm sure that uh, if you if you go to CBS, everyone will know what Deloitte is. Yes, and many knows actually what SAP is. But if you go to DTU or ITU. Yeah. 
I guess it will be a yeah, little well, bit why, different, why, why, right? Why, 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 why should I go to the Lloyd from DTU? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I think we successfully have managed to brand ourselves on, as a business application. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. it's a lot of cool technology that yeah. is... It is. And, and you can go bananas in, exactly. in, in technology exactly. if, you, if you're yeah. uh, interested of that. Uh, yeah. and, and I think that that is why when we when we took our also have the the uh, InnoGems or the hackathons mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. like that, I think that is something that can put something in on on, on the landscape. Maybe it's that we should look into to get together again mm -hmm. to do some of this. Uh, yeah, this, I mean, we uh, we get we get asks uh, probably you as well uh, from customers. What are you doing about? ingesting the market with more young people yeah, and, exactly. and, and uh, so I hear, I mean, it's, I, mm -hmm. I would tell our partners and Deloitte are mm -hmm. doing it, we are trying, yeah. we are doing it, but it's... Mm -hmm. but I went to Kumhaus of Aarhus Academy okay. this week actually yeah. to, on, on their career day and okay. I, will, I will make an effort to actually also go to DTU and ITU, I've been to KU also, yeah. but, but you know, wherever I go, SAP, what is that? <laughs> oh, I, I, I did it a, a, a month ago. It was an always a vast academy, yeah. not to the not uh, as a part of the um, uh, training they have. Yeah. So I, I know one of the guys there. I met him. I started with him together for th thirty-one years ago in Aarhus. In Aarhus, we were in the same cl uh, class, and um, suddenly we found me on LinkedIn. And then I say, Oh, Ole, I have this class about e uh, ERP. Can you come yeah. and tell a little bit about ERP systems? <laughs> I'm sure you could. And say, <laughs> <laughs> Axel, yes, sure I can. And, yeah. and then uh, it was um, two hours with uh, 30 or 35 uh, students. And uh, it was a really good, really good uh, thing because told about ERP systems, uh, told about uh, SAP, of course, um, and, and, and other <coughs> ERP systems and so, and then about how it is to work with the technology there. Mm -hmm. And that, that, uh, that SAP has, uh, has this, um, very often the cutting edge technologies in uh, with the B business technology platform, uh, yeah. it's a lot of, of interesting stuff, and yeah. you can build a lot of stuff there. And uh, I, th I think that such events are very important yeah. to bring this out and to make people interesting. In but it's the same as the products you mentioned from back then in the nineties. Yeah. <laughs> we 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 keep our our things a little bit secret, apparently. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Time is running, yeah. uh, Ole. Mm -hmm. This has been uh, super interesting. Uh, I think before we round it off, I guess we also wanted to touch a little bit upon testing and 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 uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Is that something that that you work with? I mean, of course, mm -hmm. as part of the uh, you know project rollout, testing is yeah. super important. Yes. Te yeah. Testing is super important, and testing is very often. Um, I, no, it is not very often. It's not anymore. But uh, it's like uh, in the good old days. Also, the authorization. Oh, one week before I go live. Oh, yeah, we should have made something. Are the roads ready? Not um, sub old, sub new. <laughs> 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 and uh, also, we're, we're testing it. Okay, we start test next week. So uh, let's um, other people invited. Uh, no, right now, uh, right now, it's 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 both authorization concepts and also testing starts. When the project starts, and that's also something that that we are, we are working on very, very, so that you are aware of already when you design design a solution, uh, when you have the technical design of, of of development or integrations, that you already there have test considerations, mm -hmm. and then of course you need uh, the test tool that supports you uh, for the testing. Mm -hmm. When you're looking at um, a solution manager in Focus Build, you have to have the test suite. So for all your, your manual testing, of course, you can organize it. The test cases are in the solution documentation. You have the same in, in Cloud LM. They have also, can also create your test cases in relation to your pr processes. A lot of this is already in really inbuilt. And also focus built in Cloud LM, you have uh, this called like test step designer. You click on the process. And then it, it, it asks you which of the process steps are, should be a part of this test case. Uh, okay. So things are inbuilt in there. When you then need to um, have the automatic testing in Solution Manager Focus Build, you have the test configurations there where you can connect uh, Worksoft, Fresentis, and other automatic test tools mm -hmm. where these test scripts then can, can be executed as a part of your test control center inside Solution Manager Focus Build. Mm -hmm. Or in Cloud LM, you have also these features in build. So that is, that is a, a very important part. The challenge very often in testing both Cloud LM and also Solution Manager Focus Build supported stuff is the end-to-end -end process. Because 
that is also something that we also, uh, also very often discuss with the test manager is when we look into the L3 process or the processes, we have the process. But a business process very often is, is cr across, goes across. If you have from uh, order to cash, the order is registered, things then you have to maybe some procurement in, inside and then you have the invoices coming, you send you an invoice. So the end-to-end -end process, the customer journey, is a lot of L3 processes. And how should that be reflected in your test in your test planning. Mm. And that is there where then other third-party test tools comes in that can support that because the solution manager is the documentation of a solution. The repository. It's a repository. So you have the building blocks. And that then very often challenge the stuff in there. Mm. So the integration of Tricentis uh, to, to Cloud LM, uh, we are looking very much forward to it so that it can come, so that it can support our automatic testing because when you have the public cloud which releases every second week or sometimes every day, mm -hmm. uh, you need to have mm -hmm. uh, a regression, automatic regression test tool. Of course. You, you, yeah. can't, you uh, can't have a test team sitting with five people or 10 people or 20 people to test things no, manually. It's tedious work as well. It, it is. Yeah, yeah. Doing, following, acknowledge, and, and, test and, another. And, and, and things, things are coming, uh, coming in f continuously. Mm. That is that is the beauty and also the beast of the cloud, yeah, pure yeah, cloud-based yeah, exactly, product. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, mm. yeah you, get, you get a new release every half year for public cloud, for instance, and I guess you are obligated to somehow do some tests on that, right? Uh, when, when we're talking about cloud elements every second week, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because it's so it's evolving, <laughs> evolving so fast. So that's uh, that, that's the stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, but but testing is very important. Like like the other way is mm. that the business process modeling, and that's also where we where we um, where we looked very much in Six Navion right now. That's uh, the new product uh, or new. It has been acquired a one and a half mm. year ago from SAP. Mm. But uh, but now it 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 started being integrated in start in, in that has the integration to Solution Manager. We are waiting for the integration to to Cloud Album also. So I think, and that's, then you have from the deployment to the testing and to the operation. And, and that, be, uh, sorry. Yeah, that's just knowing about, I mean, we sell partner product which are closely linked into it. Tricentis being one, open text, other, a lot of, and what I hear is that Tricentis is really taking off. From, from our side. It's, okay. it's, it's a lot of mm. interest in the market mm. because I guess it's a tedious work that needs to be repeated, yeah. doing over and over again. Yeah, especially if you have you know, new releases, new, new software versions mm. coming out quite, quite quickly, mm. then yep. automated testing yeah. is, is yeah. Yeah. And on also yeah, the, lost, on, of course. And also the customer. I think my, my, my expectation is that also the, 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 the customer using the tools or using SAP will, will require um, continuous improvement uh, every second week or something. Not only mm. new features from SAP, but also the, themselves. The business will not, not longer wait six months from they have a requirement till it can be deployed in the next major release. Mm. So also there, I, I will see, we will, we will see a change in the market. Uh, pushed by the, the cloud appli appliances we have and, and, and that's also. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, my take here is that if you use uh, the tools, Solution Manager, Focused Build, mm -hmm. Cloud ALM, mm -hmm. supplemented with Tricensis, mm -hmm. then you have the recipe, at least the tool set, to, um, to, to build a successful project. Um, it, it's, to me, it sounds as if you can have... But then, then you need a chef, uh, what I'm thinking about. <laughs> exactly. and, uh, because you have, you have the ingredients. But I think that it's very important what yep. you said. You have established a methodology that project can uh, follow because the tools is just a tool. And we are exactly. proud to, yeah. to promote those, but it's really important to have yeah. a chef in the uh, kitchen. Yeah. As and, and, yeah. and, and a chef needs a team. Hmm? So yeah. uh, a chef... Uh, if, you, if, you, if you have looked into a kitchen for one of the uh, Michelin restaurants, mm -hmm. there are 20 people mm -hmm. around the chef, and he needs to orchestrate <laughs> also the people, yeah. and that's the team. And yeah. without the team orchestration, the teamwork, um, the, the chef is just alone. He's yeah. just standing mm -hmm. there and trying to do the best. Mm -hmm. yeah. but, but that's the team around it. And yeah. that, that's also, and um, I think what you mentioned, the tools here, is a couple of them. 
I think the accelerators are very important. That could be Industry Print 5, that could be other tools, other methods, and so to, that can provide content, and that you, that you have people that have tried this before. Yeah, exactly. Because, because that is another important thing that I have seen, and, and by, by combining the right people that have tried this before, then you can, you, they can ask you the right question. That's another important thing for me is to ask the right question to the customer, to the business, mm. because then it's starting to thinking, and then okay, then we can change the direction in the right direction so that we can have a success. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Perfect. So true. Yep. I wonder before we round it off. Um, it's it's been great hearing about how you do things, mm -hmm. uh, what you work with. Uh, uh, but also your enthusiasm for some of the SAP tools. But mm -hmm. I'm sure there are things that, that could be improved. So if you were to sort of, um, if you, you, you got uh, Christian Klein's attention and, you know, had, had some advice, uh, had his ear to give some advice, what would be your recommendation in this area for SAP to focus on uh, in the coming years? I think uh, it's the... Um Com communication with the, with the with the with the partners and the, and to to use to let's use the community more to provide the things in the right way and I think what I've seen already that the custom engagement program a lot of stuff when you're looking in focus build area really took off mm -hmm. um, but then it's always the question how how we can bring that out to the business process, the teams, mm -hmm. and the customers. Mm -hmm. And that has always been the, the challenge. It's a fantastic tool, but how can we move that uh, and get people to use it in the right way to support their daily, daily needs? That's right. a commu communication. It's not so much technical. Yeah, okay, it's more okay. the communication. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and and, and, and uh, I don't have the recipe for this as a chef. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of uh, white papers. It's not the right thing. Uh, I think always the, the summits are good, mm. but we are, ha, are all so busy right now mm. and the projects, so we have, I'm, a, I'm afraid of, we have no time to mm. take time to learn and to communicate. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, so more time, Christian. That's oh. what we... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I hear what you say. Yeah, yeah, and and I, I, I truly uh, uh, feel the same uh, with this. It, it, it's... it's uh, we, we are shifting from being, if we just look inwards to SAP, from being a software who sold more or less a CD record. If we exclude all the, uh, the supporting in, and now going cloud, we need to be operation. We, we, we're moving this in. It's a, it's a new world. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and it's a new it's way of... solutions now. Yeah, yeah. Yes, now. we're and customer for life, for sure. The, mm -hmm. the challenge is the par shift in the paradigm. Yeah. Because that's also when you see, for example, through the shift to the focus from, to, from, from traditional implementations, tools to focus build, mm. it's a shift in the paradigm. Mm. When you now see the cloud LM, it's another shift. Mm. Um, so the abstraction layers and um, uh, where you should work and you, where you should explain, how you explain that. And I think another thing when I, when I should be, but what, had, what I have, to, um, have to, um, much uh, in, enjoyed me very much is the SAP community, the mentor pro SAP mentor program, um, the community events, um, and also the SAP Inside Track, um, it, and I, I see that there has been a more um, support to that mm. from SAP. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I think we, sh we, we should take that to the next level again. Mm. I think what we had in the, as a part of the Take It earlier, the InnoJams. We have the innovation challenges that we we were in the hackathons and so I think a little more more, more about that again, um, and then make um, work together with ITU and DTU, yeah. work together with them. Let's them them mm. play because mm. the software, um, the development uh, uh, languages and the software is 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 more common now. You don't yeah. need to be an uh, expert in ABAP. Mm. You can use Java and other other languages. Mm. You have the low code, no code, mm. all this um, the things that let's bring that more together again, and mm. and, and do some events together. <laughs> and that's, and, that's, and, uh, and, and not and just and once a year, but but uh, yeah, frequent, more yeah, frequently yeah, yeah, and, and, yeah. and take something and so that uh, we work with that. 
Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Let's, do let's, it. Do it. let's do it. Let's do it. Good. And we were from the right. I was, I was a part. I was, I was ready to play. <laughs> I just remember asking you once. You okay? So Ole, what was the effort putting that InnoJam together? And I, I remember you said it was thousands of hours. So I. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if we all pull together, yeah, then, yeah, then yeah. I'm sure we can do it. That's good. Yeah. Uh, Ole, this yeah. has been uh, super interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Ole, yeah. for, for dropping by. Yeah. And uh, this was then the. Um, Actually, I don't know which number episode. Man, it's a lab. Man, it's 15, 15, I think. 15. Yeah. Um, we'll be back uh, uh, next month, I guess, with uh, another visitor here in the Experience Center in Copenhagen. Thanks a lot for viewing and listening to the podcast.